Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is actually just gonna be this is gonna be a quick video about a particular very specific functionality that you're able to do in uh, SliceX. Uh, this is in response to some people who were um, talking about the uh, the drum loop pack that um, Amon Records just put out that I had made, and uh, it's you know a very short pack. There's no one shots, and one of the complaints was was that uh, some things like properly side chaining um, the loops were you know difficult. Like how how are you able to do that? And I had mentioned that one method, there's many methods, but one of the methods was using SliceX to um, send specific parts of the um, of the loop out to be to, to other channels. And this was apparently news to people, so I'm going to make this a very short video about that. I haven't actually made a video about SliceX as, as a whole yet. That's going to happen at some point. It's just that uh, I, I don't really use it very often. So like all the finer points of what it's able to do, I'm not super familiar with, so I don't feel comfortable teaching people about it just yet. But I will. It'll happen. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use one of the FL's built-in loops. Power break. So now it's in here. It sliced it and it dumped the score. So now, uh, because this is a break beat, I want to I want to side chain the kick and the snare, right? So let's um, uh, let's do that. So what I'm going to do, or rather, I want to side chain the track with the kick and the snare. This fan, this fictional track I have. Let's actually just make a sound that I want to side chain. Real quick. Let's put you in 10. Let's do that. Make it a bass, because what else am I going to do? 3 hertz. Actually, keep that, keep that panning. I keep that, actually, that whole thing there like that. Uh, put a prison. Break it. Do, 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 do. That's going to be really interesting. That's what I wanted. Nice. All right. So I'm going to put this out here. And I'm going to make the next one some sound. So I'm like. We want to side chain, right? So there's, a, there's a numerous ways to do this, but the way that I typically tend to do it is that I want to side chain uh, the kick and the snare individually. So that means I, want, I need the kick and the snare to be in separate uh, channels. So what I'm going to do is each of these, you see how each of these regions are named, the regions, right? These markers. Uh, if you go over here to region settings, you see that there's actually a drop down list for all of them and they're named. And then over here, you have a whole bunch of options. And one of them is out over here. So let's say, let's go to kick and hit one. So we can see at channel two here, it's actually gonna, it's actually kick the kick when it kicks, it's gonna go out that. Ah, but it only went out for the first one because they're both named kick. These are individual regions. So I put both kicks out at one. I'm gonna put both snares out at two. So now the kick and the snare are going out two and three and then the hats, the remaining, the remaining channels are gonna be on channel one. Now, this isn't perfect, obviously, because this, this being a loop and not individual one-shots, the kick and the snare happened while there's also hat data and whatever. So mixing-wise, this is only super, this is only, you know, particular, a particular use. You can do more uh, dynamic mixes with things, with this as a result. Um, but with the purposes, the purposes that we want them for, which is for side chaining, this is just fine. So now I can route these where I want them to be. Put in some limiters. Side chain one of them. Put in another one. So I chain that one too. Voila. So things to note about this is that these this is a track offset, which means if I move the whole of Slice X forward. It moves the offset with it because this, this isn't this doesn't mean uh, one or two like the, the insert number. What this means is that this is how many inserts in front of it it's going to be put out. Not that you can only have a positive. Oh, you can, oh my god, you can have negative values. Holy crap! I didn't know that. My world. Uh, so okay, um, you can have negative values for your offset, um, but it just but basically means that this is plus or minus apparently uh, the current mixer insert number that you're in. So if you're in you know mixer insert one, 
you want the snare to be on on channel three, you want to off offset it by two. That's what that means. This is important stuff to keep in mind, especially when you're side chaining with this particular method, because this means that uh, uh, mixer insert two and three are the ones that are side chaining. It doesn't actually care what's in it. It just knows that two and three are the ones that are side chaining. So if you do if you do move slice X and then your offset stays the same, it's no longer those two channels that are being side chained. So just keep that in mind when you're working with stuff. Slice X as a whole is a very powerful uh, you know entity, um, not just for slicing loops, but for slicing just about anything else. And not even just slicing, but like the, the articulator engine that it has in here that you can mess with uh, is very powerful. And it's very useful for even just one shots. Um, I encourage you to mess around with it. Um, it's not really something that I do because it's just the, the sort of stuff that it takes that you that it can do. It's just not something that I, I tend to do as well. It's, I mean, principal complaint about my own music is that my drums could be better, and one of the ways that it can be made better is like this. That's one way. But yes. Ugh, mixer offset, that's what that means. I honestly just did not know that you could do negative. That's what I mean by not really having a perfect command of the material and feeling comfortable enough to teach people about it. But uh, you got the point, and I hope this was informative. But if you have any questions about any of this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.